Hey guys, welcome back to another dodgy review of another dodgy product. This time we have the Lego Batman Tumblr um, from AliExpress. Uh, quite like the um, BMW bike that we've reviewed on the channel, this set um, was a, rev a review request from one of you guys. Uh, it wasn't one I was really particularly looking forward to getting. Um, in my eyes, it was just a great big load of black pieces. Um, <laughs> that's always a bit of a nightmare, especially from AliExpress, because sometimes the bags aren't numbered, so you have to take every, bag, every piece out of the bag and you have to put them in pots. Generally, you do it by color. With this set, I could imagine if you had to do that, it would be a nightmare. Luckily for us, all the bags turned up numbered. So we ordered it on the 16th of April. It turned up on the 3rd of May, so it's about two and a half weeks. So it's not too bad. It's about it's about good. It's a it's a good time for AliExpress at the moment. I've had a, a couple of football shirts that took nearly two and a half months to turn up, um, which turned up yesterday. So it's not too bad. Well, they're here now, and but they were meant to be here a month ago. Um, the set itself is 2,049 pieces. Uh, okay, right, so we paid £64.88 total from AliExpress, including carriage and taxes. Lego cost is £230, so we saved £165. In my eyes, £65 is probably a bit much for this set. But it's still relatively new, um, especially when you bear in mind, 65, 70 pound mark is about how much I pay for the Technic um, supercars, uh, which have a lot more pieces, a lot more detail. But I presume this is probably to do with the movie licensing and stuff like that. So, uh, arrived in the usual plastic bag. Sorry, I'm reading from my notes. I've got, I'm six, doing six videos tonight, so I'm a bit clueless as to where I'm going. Uh, arrived in the usual white plastic bag. Um, the main reason I bought this set is because, because it's nice and sunny at the moment, um, I, wanted a, I wanted to build a set on my balcony outside. Because all my sets, I generally either stand here or on the counter behind me or sit on the floor in the front room. So this time I fancied building a set, sat outside, having a couple of beers, listening to some music. This was that set. So from the pictures you'll see in a minute, you'll see that I'm outside a lot. Um, actually went together really, really well. I was actually quite impressed. Uh, da, da, da. So it's a combination of Technic and Lego. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, before I kind of spoil everything, I'm gonna show you the little video of the build montage um, where you can kind of see the processes, how it turned up in the bags and stuff. So we'll uh, cut to that now. Okay, right, so as you can see from the video, everything came in bags, numbered bags, absolute godsend for this amount of black pieces. I don't think I would have been able to 
sort them properly, um, sanely. I, I it would have drive, drove me nuts. A couple of things I was really impressed with, all of the window elements were in their own individual clear plastic bags. I've had it before on sets, some of the building sets, where the clear elements all get chucked in a big bag and they just get scratched. All of these clear set, uh, clear elements are perfect. No scratches. Uh, so it, it was actually a really, really nice build. I, I love the tank, uh, the tumbler in the Batman movies anyway. I think it's one of the best Batman builds I've seen. I just love how big and chunky and menacing it looks. I did have one issue. One of the pieces that I have isn't formed. Where is it? Uh, I think it's... Bear with me, because I did hide it, so we couldn't see it. Here. So this piece here is meant to come all the way down. So I think it's got, it's meant to have six studs. As you can see, it's only got five. So you can see it's not just quite formed here. That piece originally was to go at the top, but you could definitely see it because it's not symmetrical. So what I thought is, I, I waited to another part of the build where we used one of those. Just a little quick swap around, it's quite straightforward really. Um, all the pieces, really nice. Love how big and chunky the tyres are. Um, it comes on a nice little stand that you can swivel. Mine doesn't swivel anymore because I've modified it. So the stand and the car are now one because there's a reason for that. Um, as with most of the cars that I get, all get wall mounted. This didn't have any clear spots to wall mount it directly to the wall without the stand. Um, like the Technic cars, they have like the square uh, Technic like braces underneath, where this one, the only kind of squares that we had available was on the stand. So I've modified the stand so it's a lot more stronger. And then I fixed the stand to the car using some pins and some Technic pieces. And it will live on the bathroom wall next to all of the other Lego that's in there. Wife's not very best pleased, but that's not my problem, is it? Um, so yeah, do I recommend it? Yes, I think £65 is a bit much. I think this is a, a £50 model, just because of what you could get for another like for another £10. You could get one of the, the big Technic cars for £75, £80, quid, and it's double the pieces, and that's probably a lot nicer build. A lot more technical, but it's a lot more fulfilling. Where this feels a lot, the beginning part of its Technic, um, but then a lot of the end is just normal Lego. Um, as you can see, there's studs everywhere. I was contemplating buying a lot of just flat plate to kind of go over all the studs to see how that looks. I have filled um, my AliExpress cart with a lot of different shapes and sizes. Uh, I'm not sure yet though, because I quite like it to be honest. I, it's, it doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. I might still get them because it's only like 10 quid's worth, I think I put in there, and it's like a thousand pieces of flat plate. But we'll see how we go. I think I might, I might do it. Now I've said it out loud, I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm like. So I would recommend it. I think if you can get it cheaper than 65 pounds, I definitely think you should. Um, it's got a great little interior in it. You can't, take, you can't see my interior at the moment because I fixed it in place with some extra plates because every time you open my bathroom door when it's up on the wall, the roof falls off. Can't have that. So I put an extra couple of plates in, you don't even notice it. Um, build quality itself, apart from that one piece, I've not had that before where a piece has been deformed, but from what I can see on Lego forums that I'm on, that also happens with Lego as well. So I can't really blame them really. Um, so I would recommend, if you can get it for less than 65 pounds, do it. So if you are the person that recommended this, thank you very much, I did enjoy it. It gave me a good couple of evenings outside, just chilling on the balcony, listening to some good music, drinking some good beer. Um, and we had a really nice time. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much. So if it was you who recommended it, put your name down below and I will say thank you. Um, I've got a couple of more builds coming up, um, which I'm not gonna say just yet because they're not here and things can change quite quickly on AliExpress. If you do have any recommendations, tips or suggestions, please put them down below. I will get back to you. Um, like I always say is this is just our part-time hobby. We enjoy doing this and I, buy, I like buying Lego. Um, so if you can, just put a little um, tip down or anything down below. I will come back to you eventually. It may not be straight away, but I always generally do. Um, just before we go, the manual, no picture on the manual. Um, getting quite spoiled because last few, I think that we have had pictures. The manual itself is quite, it's quite good, it's quite detailed. 
I think there are a couple of steps where it's quite hard to see the red outline on what you're building. Um, but it's, it's, not, it's not the hardest build in the world. Um, there wasn't that ridiculous amount of stickers either, which is quite good, which is, especially once I've had a beer as well, which is probably for the best. Um, and we did get uh, your normal little bag of pins and little flat plates and nothing too, mass nothing too massive on that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Like I say, any tips, recommendations or suggestions, put them down below. Uh, a like would be nice, a sub would be even better. We're just smashing it with the subs at the moment. I think we're up to 1711, I think, as of this moment. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I've got another four more videos to record after this one. It's gonna be a long evening. See you later.